I'm Rev. Don Hamer. On behalf of the Christian Anti-Defamation Commission, with reason number two, why Barack Obama, who claims to be a Christian, is not a Christian by any biblical or historic measure. God's people confess that the Bible is God's inspired and infallible word and the Christian's final authority of faith and practice. In a recent speech, Obama distinguished himself from those who believe in the authority of the Bible. Now this is going to be difficult for some who believe in the inerrancy of the Bible, as many evangelicals do. Obama went on to disparage and denigrate the scriptures. In a very cynical way, Obama twists selective scriptures to advance non-biblical lifestyles using the golden rule to justify supporting homosexual sodomy. Obama even invokes the Bible by applying biblical passages to his campaign's theme of political hope that actually refer to the hope Christians have in Christ. At this moment, in this election, we must pledge once more to march into the future. Let us keep that promise, that American promise, and in the words of Scripture, hold firmly, without wavering, to the hope that we confess. Obama twists the Bible in an attempt to lend credibility to his agenda, even though he denies the Bible and its clear moral teachings. Obama is even derisive of faithful African-American pastors who treat the Bible with respect. For Obama, his opinion, not the scripture, is the final authority. Jesus prayed to his Father, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Who are you going to believe, Jesus or Obama? Please forward the link of this video to your family and friends so they can be equipped to defend our historic Christian faith from those who would seek to defame it. Visit www.defendchristians.org to find all seven reasons why Barack Obama is not a Christian.